In this video, I'm going to be showing a quick and easy way to back up your uh, VMware ESXi 5.1 virtual machines using Veeam Backup and Replication version 6.5. One thing about the free version of VMware is that we can't do any sort of live migration. So in the free version, we're just going to do a copy and paste, but we have to turn the virtual machine off for this. So you'll notice on the bottom left there that it says virtual machines, files, SAN infrastructure, and history. We want to go ahead and select files for what we're going to do here. And then we're going to go up in the pane above that and we're going to pick the server that we want to copy our files from that we are going to back up. And in this case, we're going to use 192.168.2.10 is going to be our server. And we're going to pick that 250 gigabyte drive that has our Windows web server on. Now that we've found the folder that houses our virtual machine and all the associated files, we need to go and select our data store that we want to copy those files to. So in this case, you'll notice that it. there's an option for Microsoft Windows, and then below that it says this server. And that's going to be the local machine, which is my desktop. And I have a 320 gigabyte hard drive, which is the D drive, along with a folder named Backups with today's date on it. And we're going to go up to the virtual machine folder, and we're just going to right click on it and copy and then we're going to paste it into this folder. Simple copy paste job. Now this is a pretty primitive method for uh, backing up your virtual machines. Like I said they have to be off which kind of sucks but you're also kind of limited to with the free license. But um, it is effective and it will work if you end up having to restore your machine. One of the biggest benefits of using this software over the built-in VMware ESXi data store browser is that it can be considerably faster. This is the replacement for what was known as fast SCP. Getting decent throughput in this scenario can depend on a lot of things. Um, you'll see in this case here, I'm going to be using two 7200 RPM drives, which I found out the RPM of the drives can really have uh, a big variance on how much throughput you're getting, because even if your network can keep up and the drive can't, you're going to just get slow rates. Like I've noticed a 7200 RPM drive versus a 4200 RPM drive will um, give big variances there. And uh, these are all SATA drives that I'm talking about here, no SCSI stuff. But um, it's all going over a wired gigabit network, so both my sh my machines have gigabit NICs in them, and they're going over a Dell uh, 5324 gigabit switch. And you'll see in this case, with this setup, I'm able to achieve about 60 to 70 megabyte writes per second. All in all, that equates to me moving about, um, and it's about 140, 142 gigabytes, and what ends up being about 42 minutes. Um, now, obviously, if this was a production environment, this wouldn't be really considered an acceptable downtime. So, if you in this in that case, you would want to upgrade to uh, VMware Essentials or a higher license, and then you could actually use Veeam Zip, and you could just back up your live running virtual machines. However, if you're uh, working in a test or development environment, this method will work fine if you're okay with a little bit of downtime. And uh, it's also fast and cheap because everything's free. Um, this is also a good method for moving or cloning virtual machines, which uh, the ESXi Hypervisor Free Edition does not support any cloning of any sort. So it's also a good method for accomplishing that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward a little bit now. Uh, like I said, what it ends up being is about 142 gigabytes, a whole virtual machine, uncompressed, moved in about 40, 42 minutes. Okay, so it uh, looks like our backup job is uh, about complete here, and the window will just dis disappear when it's done. And we just want to go ahead and verify that it uh, backed up completely. So we go over to the left pane here, and uh, we'll expand, and we see that it looks like it copied the whole folder over, our VMDKs and everything, all the files. And uh, then we'll go ahead and pull up my computer. And uh, we'll go ahead and select the uh, 320 gig drive that we backed up to the backup folder and the folder that we backed up to and then we'll just uh, right click on it and go to properties and verify the size 142 gigabytes looks correct and uh, that looks like it, it looks like it backed up completely so say then we want to restore the virtual machine all we have to do is go to our backup copy right click on the folder, copy it and select a data store on our ESXi host 
paste it, and then it'll copy over. And then all we have to do is go to our vSphere console, browse the data store, and then we can add the virtual machine back to our inventory. After that, you should then be able to resume normal control of your virtual machine. And that concludes my video for this one. Hit me up with any questions or comments below. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.